Hey, it's Peter BD here with a quick video walkthrough of our new Tune Video 2D and 3D video animation and creation software. So this is the very first screen that you see uh, once you start up Tune Video. This is where you can basically choose from a variety of templates that we've built for you. By the way, this is growing all the time. Uh, we've got tons of templates here ranging from anything from product launch videos, local business web commercials, logo intros, infographic style videos, character explainer videos, video portfolios, the list goes on and on and on. I don't have time to name them all here, but you can either choose to start from one of these or you can choose to start a project from scratch. We're going to go ahead and just start from scratch because I want to show some of the features to you. So let's go ahead and click start. Now this is the video creation screen. This is where all the magic happens. This area right here in the center is your canvas. This is where you'll be adding all of your elements and creating your video. Over here on the left are where all your scenes will be. This is basically whenever your video switches to another scene, you can basically navigate to those over here. Over here on the bottom is our timeline and we'll delve into that more in just a few seconds. And over here on the right is where you can access the entire Tune video library, anything from 2D and 3D animated characters, objects, backgrounds, animated backgrounds, stock music, sound effects, and you can even import your own assets into the software as well. You can even import your own live video and then put 3D characters on top of the live video. That's pretty cool. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So let's go ahead and create a video. So the very first thing we'd probably want to do is add a background to our video. So we go over here on the background tab and we would select backgrounds. Now we can choose from static backgrounds or animated backgrounds. Well, I like animated ones because they add a level of realism to the video that really not many other people are using yet. So let's go ahead and choose animated. Let's go ahead and choose this city street right here. And we'll scale it up. And now this is our background for our video. Now, if we press play, you'll notice the clouds are moving, the trees are swaying in the wind. Now, all of our animated backgrounds make your video come to life because it just adds that extra level of detail that most other videos don't have. I really, this is one of my favorite features. So um, now we've got a background. Let's go ahead and add a character, okay? Let's click on character. And how about we go ahead and right out of the gate, let's just add a 3D character. I'm gonna go ahead and add this doctor right here. You'll notice that the doctor, just like all of our 3D characters, have several different poses that you can import them as. Like we've got one here with him being angry, biting his nails, um, comparing things, clapping, celebrating, blowing a kiss, the list goes on and on. These are all different movements that this particular character has. Look, he's even driving a car in one of them and flying across the sky with a jetpack. Um, I think we'll choose this one right here where he's holding a bag of money. How about that? So we'll click that and we'll click add on stage and it's gonna load the 3D model onto the canvas and you can click and drag him wherever you want. Now this is where the true power of Tune Video comes into play. Now this may look like a regular 2D character, but check this out. Look over here on the top. We can now rotate this character around however we want. Let's say we don't want to see the front of him. Let's say we want to have the right side of him. We can do that. Or we want to see the back of him. We can rotate him however we want. And let's say we want him just like that. Okay. We can even rotate him in the, in the X axis if we want to. We could even zoom into him if we wanted to. But let's just leave him right about here so it looks kind of like real, like he's on the street. How about that? Now check this out. Now when we press play, this particular 3D character will animate using the movements that we selected a few minutes ago, holding the bag of money. You see right there, he's just basically standing. He's moving around holding a bag of money. We could have imported him with another movement if we wanted to. Let's say we wanted to import this one right here where he's biting his nails in fear. Maybe he messed up an operation or something and he's a little nervous, whatever the case may be. Let's go ahead and just insert him and we'll put him on the timeline. We'll make him start back here and press play. And look, this new animation plays out. So we have a variety of different animations we can insert him as. And of course, he's not the only 3D character. We have plenty of 3D characters in the library that you can choose from, from all types of professions, all walks of life. We've got businessmen, 
We've got female nurses, police officers, we've got fitness people, we've got local business owners. The list goes on and on and on. So that's just a brief look at the 3D capabilities of Toon Video. But now let me go ahead and show you how the timeline works and how you can start animating scenes with our keyframing feature. So this scene is, is done. Let's pretend it's done, okay? Now let's go over here and add a new scene. So we'll add a new scene and click Create New Scene. And let's go ahead and add another background, okay? We'll go over to backgrounds, and this time we don't care if it's a 3D background. Let's just go ahead and add this one right here, this city street view. That looks kind of cool. Add this in. And by the way, these are all vectors, so you can scale them up to whatever size you want. So here's our new city street. Let's go ahead and import a car onto this city street, okay? So we'll go over here to objects. And check this out. This is how big our library already is, and we haven't even gone live yet. Check this out. Let's say we want a particular thing like a truck. Go ahead and type truck right there, and it's going to find all the trucks in our library. So let's go ahead and choose this black truck right here. So there's the truck. We can bring it down, and let's make this truck drive across the screen. How about that? So let's start the truck over here off the screen because this is where it starts. Now let's say we want the truck to drive across the screen over the course of three seconds. All you have to do, check this, check out how easy this is. Just drag the playhead to the three second mark and guess what? Move the truck to where you want it to be when it reaches three seconds. Now check out this. The truck will drive across the screen. Now you can also do this with characters as well. So let's delete this truck. And let's animate a character now. We'll go back to characters and let's use a 2D character this time. Okay, let's go ahead and just type walking. So we want to find a character who's walking. So there's a bunch of them here, 2D and 3D, but one of my favorites is this guy right here. So we'll click on him and we'll choose this walking animation. You can see he comes with a bunch of other animations, just like the other characters. We'll add him on to the, to the stage, and there he is. Let's make him walk across the street. Besides him being 10 feet tall, let's make him walk across the street. So we want him to start right here, and let's make him walk across the street over the course of three seconds. So we'll move our playhead over there, and all we have to do is move him over to there. So now we press play, and he simply walks across the street. So it's that easy animating objects inside Toon Video. You can do this with anything, whether it be 3D characters, 2D characters, objects, trucks, cars, helicopters, you name it. You can also add text to your videos with our little text editor here. So let's go ahead and just type sample text and we'll go ahead and add it to the stage. So let's edit this text. Let's make it a lot bigger. And let's change the color to white. And just like that, adding text to your videos is that easy. You can also add animation to this text as well, just like you would anything else in Tune Video. You can make this text move wherever you want. Let's say we want the text to start off the screen right here, or off the screen. Let's say you want it to come onto the screen right about here. We just go ahead and grab our text and move it on right here. So now the text will come onto the screen as well. So this means you can not only build 2D and 3D animated videos with characters, objects, and backgrounds, but you can also build text-based videos, kinetic text style videos that you see on video sales letters and sales videos and those kinds of things. The last thing I wanna show you is how you can take live video, import it into Tune Video, and then add 3D characters or even 2D characters, whatever you want, on top of it. So check this out. So let's create a new scene, okay? And this is a blank scene again, but this time, instead of importing a background, let's go ahead and import a video that we have. So we'll click import. By the way, you can import MP4 videos, all types of video file formats. You can even import images. You can import audio files. You can even import SWF flash files and your own 3D characters if you buy 3D characters or make your own as well. So let's go ahead and import. And we'll choose this scene right here with a field. Press play. And check it out, it's a stock video clip of a field. So let's go ahead and add a character on top of this. So we'll go to characters, and which character would we like to add? How about this construction worker right here? So we'll click on him, and let's say we want him to be 
clapping in this field. So we'll select the clapping animation and we'll add him to the stage. So here's our 3D character. So now we can move him wherever we want. Let's go ahead and scale him up a little bit so he fits within our scene. Now we'll go ahead and press play and you can see that this 3D character is now clapping in a field. So you can do this with any live video clip that you have, whether it be a stock video clip like this or a video of you talking or a video you shot on your smartphone, you can insert 2D and 3D characters and spruce up your existing videos. Now, a few quick things before we actually render this video clip. I wanna show you a couple things about the timeline that make Toon Video different than any other video creator out there on the market. We're not limiting you to just the templates we provide. Of course, you can use Toon Video to import your own clips and you can even use Toon Video as a video editor if you want to. And this is how the timeline works. So here we have our timeline right here and it basically updates depending on which scene you click on. If we click on this scene here, you'll see all of the elements on the timeline associated with that scene, okay? But let's say that you're a little bit old fashioned and you want to see the entire project all at once. You just click this button over here and it changes to all scene. Now editing elements on the timeline is just as easy. Let's say we wanted to change the animation uh, length of this guy that we just made walk across the street a few moments ago. You see these little bubbles right here on the timeline? This will allow you to select any of the elements on that particular scene. So if we wanna edit that this walking character, we just select this bubble here, and then we can change, his, we can move his keyframe around, we can move him around, we can do whatever we want with him. Now let's go ahead and render this project to a finalized video clip. So now we're just gonna go ahead and click publish. And you can choose to upload this directly to YouTube if you wanted to. This eliminates a lot of work. If you upload a lot to YouTube, you can do it right from within the software. You don't need to download the video, then upload it to YouTube later. You can do it right to YouTube if you want. Um, you can also export it to a GIF if you have the extended version. You can export your videos from Toon Video directly to a GIF file. This will allow you to put animated video teasers inside of the emails that you send to your email list. Now this is something I personally have been using for quite a while now, and it's made a huge improvement on the click-through rates in my emails. You can also go ahead and take the video that you create in Tune Video, you can publish it directly to an emotional recognition survey. So this is our human metrics technology, which we're gonna talk about in another demo video. You can check it out here on this page. This is our technology that allows you to take your video and it directly reads your viewer's face and their emotions as they're watching your video through their webcam. So check out that other tutorial video here on this page about the human metrics survey. But we're gonna go ahead and just render it right to an MP4 and click publish. So I'm gonna publish it right to my desktop and we'll click save. So that's Tune Video. I hope you like what you see. If you have any additional questions, please do post them in the Tune Video Facebook group or go ahead and submit a support ticket and I will see you on the next live Q&A training webinar. Thanks for watching.